David here from History Hustle, and in this final video of my travel, I'm going to talk about, exactly, the Berlin Wall. After World War II, Germany was carved up into four parts by the victorious allies, a French zone, an English zone, an American zone, and a Russian zone. With Berlin, which was located in the eastern part, the Russian zone, the same thing happened. Soon, the western zones fused together in what became the Federal Republic of Germany, also known as West Germany. The eastern zone, that was controlled by the Soviets, became the German Democratic Republic, also known as East Germany a one-party state that was ruled by the Socialist Unity Party of Germany. West Berlin was this western capitalistic island amidst a sea of communistic countries, the Eastern Bloc. Those countries that were occupied by the Nazis before got liberated by the Soviets and now got communistic regimes installed. The Cold War had begun. A period of tensions between the United States and its allies and the Soviet Union and its allies. This war never escalated to a full-scale war, that's why it's called a Cold War. However, there were moments of severe tension. West Berlin had to be supplied by the West on roads that were located in the East. In 1948, Soviet leader Joseph Stalin created a blockade. From that point on, it was impossible to bring supplies to West Berlin over land. The Western answer was an aerial bridge. From that point on, planes took care of the supplies for West Berlin. The blockade was lifted after one year. In 1952, the communists created a fence between Eastern and Western Germany. The Iron Curtain was created. From that point on, it was not possible to go from East to West Germany except in Berlin, because there was not a fence that separated East and West Berlin. An estimated 2.5 million people fled from East to West, and in the night of 12 to 13 of August 1961, the Communists intervened. They started to build a wall that separated East and West Berlin. In the following years, the wall was reinforced by extra structures, minefields, barbed wire, guard towers. East Germans thought of many creative ways to flee from east to west by going under, over or through the wall. An estimated 200 people died by their attempt to escape. With Soviet leader Mikhail Gorbachev in charge, something was about to change. This man applied democratic reforms. Glasnost and Perestroika. What followed was that many Eastern Bloc countries turned away from communism without intervention of the Soviet Union. Hungary cut the Iron Curtain. May 1989, the Soviet Union did nothing. On the 9th of November 1989, there was a press conference by the GDR. It was announced that civilians were allowed to travel freely from East to West. Countless people went to the Berlin Wall. The border guards had no instructions, but they opened the gates at their own initiative. The wall had fallen. Germany was reunited on the 3rd of October 1990, and short after, the Soviet Union dissolved. The Cold War was over. All right, there you have it. It's done now. This was the final video that I recorded during my one year travel where I traveled from Bangkok to Berlin. I hope you enjoyed it. I've honestly, by the time of recording this, no idea how many videos I've actually recorded and put out. But by the time I'm editing this, I probably do know. So this is the amount of videos that I've made during my one year of travel. A lot. So, what's next? Well, forgive me, but I have no idea yet by the time of recording this, but by the time this video comes out, I probably do know. So, whatever it will be, it'll be good. Guys, girls, thanks for watching. I hope and you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any comments or questions, leave it down below. 
check me out Facebook Instagram you know the drill oh and subscribe if you have not already thanks for watching until next time